Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. Today's book is Being Wendy by Fran Drescher. Why is she standing, you say? Because this was my seventh book that I read to my class. They loved it so much that they asked me to share it with the world. So I'm sharing it with you today. Deep in a valley sits the tiny town of Boxville and all the people who live there fit very comfortably in the boxes they wear. As she did every morning, Wendy Starbright walked to school. Wendy said hello to the officer Miranda writes, who wore her police officer's box with pride as she directed traffic. She smiled at Willie Walkin' Poop as he held on tightly to many leashes. And Wendy stared at the beautiful Bella Fashionista, the dress shop owner, as she unlocked the door to her fancy store. At school, Wendy's teacher, Mrs. Reed and Wright, wore, wrote on the blackboard in perfect penmanship. Wendy looked around the classroom and saw that all the students were happy wearing the boxes they had chosen. Hope's box said doctor because she knew she wanted to cure sick people. Joe's box said soldier because he wanted to protect people. And Candy's box said baker because she loved sweets. But Wendy didn't want to be labeled anything at all. She wiggled in her box. If only she could take it off. Why did she have to wear this boring brown box anyway? Wendy was full of ideas. She loved to do lots and lots of things. How could she possibly pick one to put on her box? Wendy loved to play the guitar and shoot hoops. Should her box say guitarist or maybe basketball player or? Oh, thought Wendy, how will I ever choose just one box? She was afraid to say, to say out loud that she felt different from everyone else. After dinner that night, Wendy asked her mother, do you ever wish you weren't wearing your mom box? Her mom laughed. Don't be silly. I love being a mom, especially your mom. But don't you ever wish you could ever wear another box sometimes? Wendy asked her mom. Wendy's mom smiled. In life, we must make choices and mine was to be a mom. Wendy knew she wanted to wear lots of different boxes because she had so many interests. She dreamed of traveling the world and seeing exotic sights. She had big plans. She imagined hearing meetings. She, she imagined herself meeting with foreign leaders, working for world peace. She thought about running marathons. Sometimes she wanted to be a great writer. Wendy even dreamed of being a famous actress. How could she do all these exciting things if she had to wear just one box? She couldn't.
The biggest rule in Boxville was she had to choose a box and stay in it. But now Wendy had an idea. On Wednesday morning, Wendy Starbright left her house before her parents could see her without putting on her box. Out on the street, Wendy caused quite a stir. Officer Miranda Wrights blew her whistle, but Wendy kept walking. Willie Walkenpoop's dogs barked and howled, but Wendy kept walking. And Bella Fashionista covered her eyes, but Wendy kept walking. At school, the kids laughed and pointed at Wendy. Even her friends didn't understand. They all made her feel weird, like she didn't belong. I must wear my box at all times. I must wear my box at all times. I must wear my box at all times. I must wear my box at all times, was written on the board. Mrs. Readenwright sent Wendy to the principal's office for violating the town's biggest rule. Why can't you just choose a box like everyone else, Wendy? She said with disappointment to the principal's office. The principal called Wendy's father. As soon as her dad arrived, Wendy burst into tears and ran into his arms. But as always, his box got in the way. On the walk home, Wendy Turl told her dad the truth. I know everyone in Boxville likes wearing their boxes, but I don't. <sighs> you just haven't found the right box yet, but you'll find the one that fits, said Wendy's dad. Thanks, Wendy said with a weak smile. But I know in my heart that one box will never be enough for me. Well, think it over, said Wendy's dad, and please get back inside your box to do that. Wendy tried to take her dad's advice, but the more she thought about it, the more she hated thinking inside the box. She would never fit in at school, at home, or in Boxville. Being different was lonely, but she couldn't be any other way. She was different. Wendy ripped off her box once more. She took a deep breath and she went downstairs to talk again to her parents. Her whole family was in the kitchen, but something was very different about them. They were out of their boxes. What's going on, Wendy asked. Well, we did some thinking too and decided that you're right, said her mom. You're a very special girl, Wendy, said her dad. You have a lot of different talents that make you, you. And that's a good thing. You should be anything and everything you want we, sh we all should. Wendy smiled her biggest smile. Later that day, the whole Starbright family left the house without their boxes. Wendy happily waved to their Boxville neighbors. She was quite special and proud of it. Soon after, the Starbrights packed their stuff into their now empty boxes, loaded up the car and left Boxville for a new town called Freedom Land. The end, boys and girls of Being Wendy by Fran Drescher. Boys and girls, I chose this book because immediately I connected with this book. Because since I was a little girl, I never fit into just one thing. And now as a grown up, I still don't. I never chose just one thing that I wanted to do. I've always done many things. I've been a receptionist. 
I've been a lunch monitor. I've been a babysitter. I've been an after school teacher. My biggest box and joy of all has been being a mom, a daughter, and a sister. So as you can see, you don't have to be just one thing and you can still be extremely happy like I am. And that is the reason why I chose this book. It is Miss Reynolds with Bored, Better Off Reading Every Day. And I just wanted to share this with you. And I also wanted you to check out my box. Check it out. On the back of my box is my Bored Pen Pals, which is back here, which is where I write letters to my Bored kids. And we send letters back and forth since we've been out of school for over two months. So that's also one of the other things that I do. But I wanted to tell you today, if you have many ideas and many thoughts and a lot of different things that you like to do, never be afraid to do them because you are unique and you are special and you are different, just like the young lady in this book and just like me. So get out there and step out of your box every once in a while. Bye.